Good afternoon, everybody, and Happy New Year. This is Chick Hearn with Mel Allen. Happy New Year, everybody. Speaking to you from the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California, for the Gillette Safety Razor Company. And we're all set to bring you the 1958 Rose Bowl game between the Ohio State Buckeyes and the University of Oregon Ducks. The Gillette Cavalcade of Sports telecasts the major sports events all around the year. Classics like today's Rose Bowl game, the Kentucky Derby, All-Star Baseball game, World Series, Blue and Gray football game, and the feature boxing match of the week every Friday night. This is our thank you to the men and the women who buy the Gillette product. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in perfect football weather, 75 degrees here in sunny Southern California, Pasadena, California, we're all set for the 44th annual Tournament of Roses football game. Woody Hayes has brought the pride of the Big Ten or the Western Conference, Ohio State, here to Pasadena to battle Len Casanova's Oregon Ducks. The weather, perfect. A crowd, 100,000 strong. The record here is 100,963 established in 1950. And today, the most that they could handle, they tell us, is 1,000, 100,808. We are located high above the western rim of the Rose Bowl Stadium in Pasadena. You're looking down and around a stadium that runs, so far as the football field is concerned, in a north and south direction. That is the University of Oregon marching band. The University of Oregon coming here, and proud they are for their third appearance in the Rose Bowl. They have an enrollment of 7,000 students located at Eugene, Oregon, which is located at the head of beautiful Willamette Valley, 124 miles south of Portland. The Oregon team is called the Ducks, or the Webfoot. They're coached by Len Casanova. Len has just completed seven years of coaching. He was pit finished, picked to finish this year, seventh or eighth in the Pacific Coast Conference, but as you well know, he came up with a tremendous season and tied with Oregon State for the Pacific Coast Conference title. Oregon students have deep appreciation for Coach Len Casanova. In 1954, they presented him with a plaque which read, and I quote, having given us victory by reestablishing an undying Oregon spirit, you have won the respect and admiration of your team and the entire Oregon family. Overall this year, the University of Oregon Ducks had a record of seven wins and three defeats defeated by Pittsburgh 6-3 on a pass play in the last 20 seconds. They lost to Washington 13-6, and Oregon State edged them in the season finale 10-7 to earn the Pacific Coast Conference tie. In victories, Oregon defeated Idaho 9-6, beat UCLA 21-0, shut out San Jose State 26-0, edged Washington State 14-13, beat California 24-6, edged Stanford 27-26 and defeated Southern California 16 to seven. In the 10 ball games this year for the University of Oregon, they averaged 15 points per game offensively. They allowed the opponent just eight and a half points per game. Now the Ohio State Buckeyes and proud they are from Columbus, Ohio. This great institution was opened in 1873 with just 17 students. Today, the Buckeye School boasts an enrollment of 22,400 students. And coach Woody Hayes, like Casanova, has completed his seventh year at Columbus. In those seven years, Woody's teams have won 47, lost 15, and tied two. Now, Woody Hayes' record in the Big Ten has been fantastic. His Buckeyes have won the undisputed Big Ten championships in three of the last four years. In fact, Ohio State has won, get this, ladies and gentlemen, Ohio State has won 24 of its last 26 conference games. Included in this was a string of 17 straight conference wins, and that's an all-time Big Ten record. Now, Woody Hayes' 1954 team was acclaimed national champions, and the team that you'll see here today was rated as the top collegiate team in the country by two of the National Press Associations. On the field now, you see the University of Ohio State marching band joining forces with the University of Oregon marching band. And ladies and gentlemen, we direct your attention to the field for the playing of our national anthem. Fans of the University of Oregon and Ohio State University, under the direction of Ira D. Lee, will now play our national anthem.
On the field, you see the combined bands of Ohio State University and the University of Oregon. Let's get back and talk a little bit more about the Western Conference champion, Ohio State Buckeyes. This year, their record was 8-1 and one in the opening game of the year, defeated by TCU 18-14. to 14. But after that, it was a clean sweep on the season. Ohio State 35, Washington 7, Ohio State 21, Illinois 7, Ohio State 56, Indiana nothing, Ohio State 16, Wisconsin 13, Ohio State 47, Northwestern 6, Ohio State 20, Purdue 7, Ohio State in the big game of the year, 17, Iowa 13, and Ohio State 31, Michigan 14. Offensively, Ohio State a potent force. They averaged 28 points a game this year. And also this year, the opponents of Ohio State were held to less than 10 points per game. In 1921, Ohio State was here to the Rose Bowl, losing to California 28 to nothing. In 1950, they beat California 17 to 14. In 1955, they beat SC 20 to 7. And who knows what will happen here on this first day of January 1958. Here are your starting lineups, ladies and gentlemen. For Ohio State, left end, number 84, Jim Houston, 6'2", 216-pound sophomore from Massillon, Ohio. At left tackle, number 71, Dick Shafrath, 6'2", 208-pound, 20-year-old junior from Worcester, Ohio. At left guard, number 65, Bill Jobko, 6'1", 215, a 22-year-old senior from Lansing, Ohio. These are the Oregon Ducks. They're wearing white jerseys.